Mag-upa lang ko ganyan. Nagbalik sa social media. Tapos na lahat. Nan pa ko. <laughs> yep. You heard me. I tested positive for the coronavirus. Mm-hmm. <coughs> yo, 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 yo. It's me, Skippy. After months from working in the COVID units, ever since all of this started, it finally happened. <laughs> so last December 2, I did a swab for the COVID test. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh. Oh, weird, weird to me. Ah, oh, the swab hurts. Turns out I became positive. Especially when there's a vaccine that just came out. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how it actually feels like what I did during this whole experience. My real goal here is to show you not to fear and to educate and understand on how COVID-19 is. But before we start, a quick disclaimer. Everything that I'm going to be discussing here is based from my experiences and my opinions only. If you are experiencing any medical emergency, especially related to COVID-19, please I have references below through the CDC. I'm just going to use that as a basis and general. Let's do it like this. Life picture of the planet. By the way, just from filming this video, I've already finished my 14-day quarantine. Today is actually December 20th. Before we get into this, I just need you to understand this. Everybody has a different body chemistry. Everyone is different, different composition. We may have a family history of diabetes, age, cultural ethnicity. All of that abides with this subject. Luckily, in my case, I had more of a mild symptoms, but the mild symptoms were pretty brutal. Because of that, everyone has a different symptoms. It's like, it's like this. The mild symptoms of coronavirus is kind of like Luke Skywalker. But you're my father! When you have like the, the severe symptoms, it's like... <laughs> Other than that, usually the severe people, they get, they go into the hospital right away. But if it's mild symptoms, it could be managed at home. This is a graph of how intense my signs and symptoms were from beginning to the end during my quarantine period. The x-axis will represent the dates during my quarantine period and the y-axis will explain how intense my signs and symptoms grew. During the first few days, I experienced runny nose and a fever. The fever would go up and down, which is really, really weird. Soon after, I'd start to experience fatigue and shortness of breath and cough. Coughing is your friend when you have the coronavirus. Around this time was probably the peak of all of these signs and symptoms. Through the healing process, the symptoms just die down. I just want to emphasize that coughing, the coughing is really bad. It just becomes so tiresome. I forgot to mention loss of taste and smell. Even up to this day, I still don't have any taste or smell. Reason for that is because the nerves kind of got damaged or are confused. So it's going to take time to heal. <coughs> and I breathe up high like... <sighs> I've been watching my SPO2. And my SPO2 is actually, it's not bad. It's good. No problem about that. Man, I haven't even finished my food. You're saying like, you have less of taste? Oh no, I actually don't really. Like this tastes like curry still. I think I do have black cake. I don't know, to be honest, it's kind of hard to tell. Today is, let's do a smell test. Some white flour. Uh, still no smell. <laughs> it's not. This piece of bacon. I don't know, it's so hard to identify. I don't feel like there's anything I could smell. <sighs> what a weird Christmas. So this is how I get my food. <laughs> I ask my mom to, to get it for me and then I get it like this. Ta-da! Nice, drink huh? Mm-hmm. All right, let's eat. So what is my conclusion? What is my learnings that I could probably say for myself and for others out there? First off, it would be really, really helpful if we don't judge people who may have caught it, could be potential. This is life and death. It will be more helpful if make sure that they're safe towards others, towards the people close to them. That's the better thing that we need to do because prevention is better than cure. Please don't risk yourself. Please don't risk others. Number two. 
exercise. I want to get back to exercising and I think everyone needs to exercise too because first of all, exercise helps in blood circulation. It helps give nutrients sa tanan niya lawasta. It will also help with lung expansion when you're lifting weights. So even just walking for 30 minutes, that's good for you. It's, it's generally good for you. Exercise. We need to change thinking of exercise. It even helps you boost up your immune properties in your body. Be mindful of what you eat. Adequate sleep. It seems like the older that we get, we start to neglect ourselves. And I have to say, I'm also not perfect. I have to admit that. I just promote health and wellness. And I think if it's good for me, it's going to be good for you too. When you do it right, okay? Three, no matter what, COVID positive or not, no matter what happens to you in general, the world moves forward. At the end of the day, there's just you. I think the real question is, what are you going to do about it? My name is Kipi Castillo. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something. And if you did, I think it would be good if you could share this video to someone. If you could help one person, I will be very happy.